everyone, I'm Jenna, an educator at the North Carolina Arboretum. Eco Explore is a program where you can help scientists earn badges and prizes. For more information, go to our website, ecoexplore.net. We're at one of my favorite hotspots today, Charles D. Owen Park, to talk about one of my favorite birds. I like it because it kind of reminds me of a dinosaur. It's the great blue heron. Here at Owen Park, they have their own resident great blue heron. His name is Buddy. Buddy likes to wade through the tall grasses alongside this pond here. Great blue herons live near slow moving water or still water systems, such as shorelines, riverbanks, the edges of marshes, estuaries, and ponds. Like Buddy, great blue herons are usually solitary, except when breeding occurs. Then they form large colonies called rookeries. Did you know that great blue herons aren't always blue? In fact, there are three forms of great blue herons. The blue form, which we find here in North Carolina and is the most common, the white form, and the combined form. The adult blue form is distinguished by its powdery blue plumage and black mohawk and flight feathers. It also has shaggy plumes of feathers along its back and neck and a bright yellow bill. They are really easy to point out standing over three feet tall with their tall gangly legs and S-shaped necks. When flying, they stick their legs straight out behind them and their broad wings give them a heavy flight pattern with slow beats. They can have over a six feet wingspan. Great blue herons can croak upon taking flight or landing. You can also hear them giving a series of clucking if disturbed. Great blue herons can eat turtles, frogs, fish, small mammals, invertebrates, even other birds. They don't catch fish like a lot of aquatic birds. Instead, they spear fish with their sword-like bills and lightning fast neck movements. Time for a fun fact. Did you know that great blue herons have a built-in bib? The feathers on their chest continually grow and they use them to towel off any fish slime or other oils as they eat. But it doesn't stop there. They also have a built-in comb in the form of a fringed claw on their middle toe that keeps it nice and tidy. We hope you enjoyed learning about the great blue heron. Thanks for tuning into our bird break. Good luck, have fun, keep exploring.